Everyday Shooter for the PlayStation Network, a queasy game by Jonathan Mack. Everyday Shooter is a twin-stick shooter, the movement of the ship controlled with the left analog stick and the direction of fire controlled with the right. Players used to the omnidirectional control of other games like Geometry Wars would probably find it a bit odd at first that Everyday Shooter restricts you to 8-directional control, but what worked for Eugene Jarvis's Robotron works here and you learn to play around it. The unusual thing about Everyday Shooter is its very fluid rules, the only certainty being that in order to score points, you have to pick up special pixels by flying close to them. There's a sort of magnetic field around your ship... thing, which draws the pixels slowly towards you, but it's far from effective. The result is that often massive numbers of pixels will appear, but most of them will have vanished before you can pick them up. Interesting quirk, or perhaps just an irritation, it forces you to make choices about gathering points, which is fairly unique. Oh yes, and you also move faster when you're not shooting, which really throws a spanner in the works of any behaviour you might have learned from other games. Beyond this one consistent element, the levels are very dissimilar from each other. The first is filled with waves of box-like objects floating peacefully across the screen. To create pixels, you need to cause certain special enemies to explode, with any others caught in the blast producing pixels or exploding themselves, a bit like every Extend Extra. On the second level though, it's all about allowing the enemies to form chains and then destroying the strongest link, causing the biggest reaction. This variance in the levels is cool because every one must be approached in a very different way, and half of the fun is experimenting with the environment and figuring out what you need to do. Something else about Everyday Shooter that's far from common is the indie art style, particularly in such a fast-paced, action-oriented genre. Whilst most of its contemporaries are pushing the envelope when it comes to neon colours and flashy particle effects, Everyday Shooter's muted oranges, browns and beiges are a nice change of pace. I'm as surprised as you to hear myself praising a video game for including beige, but there you go. The art style works well with the music, which is similarly mellow but also very catchy. It's a good thing because it's one of the central pillars of the game. Each level is really just a song that must be outlasted in order to pass on to the next one. On top of that, all the sounds from the game are made using a guitar, which can create some interesting soundscapes even if it doesn't quite approach the levels of Rez's reactive soundtrack. Whilst most twin-stick shooters will inspire you to sit at the edge of your seat hammering the restart button, Everyday Shooter's aesthetic feels far more relaxed. That doesn't make it easy though, and once you get to level 3, a sharp eye and dexterous thumb will be your best allies. If you find it too tough, don't get disheartened. Points scored in a playthrough are added to your total which can be used to buy unlocks, ranging from special visual effects to extra lives, and even the ability to randomise the order of the levels. The fact that even a bad play session will earn some benefit takes the edge off failure and really helps maintain the game's soothing vibe. It's nice to know that if I keep playing, eventually I'll be able to buy enough lives to get all the way to the end. So, is Everyday Shooter worth 10 of your dollars? I'd say yes if you like twin-stick shooters and are looking for something a bit different. The indie style and the guitar sound effects won't be to everyone's taste, but the game offers a lot of interesting twists on the twin-stick shooter that are definitely worth exploring if you like that kind of game. With its calming vibe and mixture of different rules and playstyles, it really is the shooter you can enjoy every day.